Hi guys, welcome to Moscow with Stu's channel. This is Robin. How's everybody doing today? We're um, getting ready to do a new box. This is Joy Jar 258. And it will consist of some Shop Goodwill and some eBay purchases. And uh, I haven't gone through it. I've just unboxed it and put it in tubs so that I can pull it out and show it. And if you see anything in this video you'd like, all you have to do to order is put the timestamp, description, and price. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you comment and want to claim an item and you're new to the channel, you'll need to email me immediately before or after your com commenting um, at this email address, myskyh2 at gmail.com with your YouTube name, your full name so I can connect the two. And your full name, so I'll have that for your shipping, with your shipping address. I need your shipping address, too. We invoice at the first of the month for the prior month's orders. So the next invoices are going out November 1st, and I am taking a break in the month of December. So you'll get invoices on December the 1st for November's orders. And then the next invoice date will be February 1st, because I won't come back on until January, so... That's how that works. Uh, shipping is a flat rate of $5 if it's under a pound. If it's over a pound, it's eight thirty and up, just depending on the size of the box, the weight, the distance, and all that good stuff that I have to take in consideration. Grab yourself something nice to drink. I've got me some coffee. It's morning time. The weather is fallish today. It's going to be cooler tonight. And the leaves are falling. So sit back, relax. It's time for my jewelry duty, and I want to share what I've got. So the first thing I'm going to do, which I shouldn't do, is just, this is, I just put the bag in on this one. This is an eBay purchase, and this is what I got, so we'll see. It's already wrapped up and everything. Uh-oh, something fell on my lap. Am I missing? Yep, still missing. So, this is what we're going to be looking at. Oh, these are pretty. Pretty, pretty. We have a ring here. Look at that. It is... I don't see any marks. It looks brand new, like it's never been worn. my little it must be in my carrying case when I go on travel and do jewelry videos I think my magnet my good ones there that's not magnetic I'm gonna loop it it's just absolutely lovely the stone in it is gorgeous it looks like turquoise. Almost like the spider web thing. Here it is underneath. You can see the stone in its raw form where it's not polished. Very pretty. All your rhinestones are there. I believe those are rhinestones. I will test them. Your CZs are rhinestones. Oh, stop. You're making it hard. I mean, CZs. This ring is size 7. We'll do that for eight. Very nice. It's that time of year. I've got kind of a sniffle, but I'm not sick or anything. It's just sinuses. Size seven, eight dollars. Beautiful ring. I'm not sure what it's made of. 
it's not magnetic. Okay, this is an interesting one. Oh, looks like a could be bake like or something. I'm not sure. I can get it out of this bag. Oh, this is either this is some kind of bone, I think. See the striations in that? This was twenty dollars. Very creamy in color. I'm going to loop it. And let's see what if this tag tells us what it is. You know, it's a bunch of numbers. And then the other side has some initials like uh, LFA or JFA. It was seventy eight ninety five marked down to twenty dollars. Hmm. I'm going to test it for Bakelite, even though I don't think it's Bakelite. I think it's bone or horn or something. It's beautiful. I use semi-chrome. Semi-chrome is a pink chrome polisher. And what it does when it's on Bakelite, it turns yellow if you rub it on there. So I'll show you. It's a very pale pink. You want just a little bit. See how pale pink it is? Sort of like calamine lotion. That's what it reminds me of. In a paste. And we'll go inside the ring. Like in here. And we'll give it a rub. And it's still pink, so no, it's not Bakelite, which I didn't think it was, not after I looked at it. Okay, I cleaned that out. Didn't harm the ring. I don't know, this, uh, I'm going to hold on to this and find out what it is. Why it was marked $78 down to 20 If y'all can see the the uh, grain in it, it's just very pretty. That may be just dirt. Yeah, that was dirt in there. anybody has an opinion, I'll welcome it. I'm going to um, do research on that one. Okay. We'll set it off to the side. The next one I have is another ring. This one says peace. Very brutalist look to it. It is adjustable. Um... It's not magnetic. Let me look on the inside here. I think it looks kind of copperish. It's probably silver over copper. Because I see a, a brass. It's a gold tone color.
Let's do the net. Let's do more, some more of the piece. All right. 18 carat here. This was the band. And that was the uh, piece. The piece is fluorescing, but I don't think it's bright as blue as it should. No, I don't know. It looks pretty blue to me. I don't think I have good... Um, See, it's so dark, I think it's not good anymore. But we'll try it. It's definitely, ooh, definitely fluorescing. I'll drop that right in there. Let me get that off. You don't want to do that. Okay. Again, I'm going to let you see it. Let's see, do I have a piece of silver I could... Do next to it. I don't know if that was silver or not. Let's see. What's this little lighthouse silver? So annoying. Let's see. This bracelet's got silver on it. Oh, yeah. That's marked. Let me do a real uh, silver right next to it. And let's see how much bluer the fluoresce is. Oh, it's the same color. See that? I don't know. That's brighter. Hmm. Well, let me see. Let me see if I can try it with this other. Now, this is the silver tester, but see, it's a weird color. I know, I think it's bad, unfortunately. Yeah, it's bad. What it would do is it would turn red. Okay, that didn't turn red, it was gray. Now let me try one that we knew was silver. This little thing here that's marked 925. Little windmill charm. Now let's see if I can get red out of it with this silver. And if it's not, then I need to figure out how to dispose of this without hurting anybody. Come on. No, it's not working. That is dead acid. And you can just tell by the color. That's an old bottle. I don't think I have any new bottles. Okay, guys. Um, I had some more... Some more of that silver, and it's all that funky brown color, which I've used silver before, acid, and it's not supposed to be that color. I don't know if I got a bad batch or what. But um, I did test this again, and there it is. And you can see it shows through, but to me, it's not that bright, bright blue that I'm looking for. So I would say this is not silver. And I could be wrong, 
because it's a very heavy piece. Definitely on the band, I know it's not silver, and it didn't fluoresce at all. You can see where the brass or copper is coming through. I think it's brass. But we'll do this one for five. All that for five. I even found my other. It's a size seven. I found my other um, bottles, and they're, they're very old, so I know they're all bad unfortunately because I tested the real stuff I knew that was silver for sure nothing so that tells me it was bad makes me wonder it was from an eBay seller back in Uh, yeah, 2021. So, yeah, that's that's old. And it can, continues to get brighter blue as it sits. But it's not that fluorescent blue that I'm looking for. And that's where that you get your false positives, um, the difference. And if you've done this enough, you know. I just was making sure. Okay, and if I'm wrong, then you got a hunk of silver. Okay, the next one is another ring. Sorry it took so long, golly, 15 minutes into the thing, and I've showed y'all, what, two things, or one thing? Nice pearl ring. I'm looking for a mark. I do not see a mark. Beautiful ring. Oh, yeah, that's a pearl. That's squeaky on my... Let's see if this is silver. Yes, this one's silver. It's got the blue color in it. You see the difference? Very blue. And I'll measure it for you. That's why I said it takes me a little bit longer when I just show you stuff I haven't gone through yet. Because I'm testing it and doing whatever that I normally do. This one is a size 6. Absolutely love it. I love the design of the band. It's very comfortable on. Oops, can't put it on my ring finger. We'll do that one for 10. Very pretty. And that is a pearl on that. I meant to say if it had any marks. So let me check it. There's no tarnish on this. And I don't see any marks. Unmarked. Ten. Tested. Nine two five. Pearl. Okay. The next one we have is a hinge bracelet in gold tone. Beautiful rhinestones. Excellent condition. I'm looking for marks. It's just so beautiful. Here's your clasp. 
Looking for marks with the naked eye is sometimes a dangerous thing. It's in excellent condition, very beautiful. It's got a good clasp here. Nice, um, either CZs or rhinestones, I don't know which. Have a nice sparkle to them. Let's see. I think this is going to fit a medium wrist, which that's my size. Beautiful. We'll do this one for eight. Gorgeous. didn't test it or see if it was magnetic this is beautiful it's emerald cut green stone a gold tone setting oh yeah that's gorgeous it is adjustable It's a little big on me. Let's see what it's adjusted to. Oh, yeah, it's a seven and a quarter. Look at the shanks. Prong set. Emerald green color. The finish on this is outstanding. Let's see. This is a beautiful glass vintage ring. We'll do that one for five. Gorgeous. Emerald's such a beautiful color too. Emerald green. Seven and a quarter is the size. And five dollars. The next piece I have is a beautiful bracelet. Gold tone, excellent condition. Oh, I'm sorry. Fold over clasp. I don't mean to bang it on that and make so much noise. Hope it didn't hurt your ears. Has a safety clasp. Uh, that's not working well. It needs a new... Uh, Or it needs to be fixed. There we go. No, it, it doesn't go back automatic. You have to push it back. See? And it kind of wants to open. So that needs to be replaced. But this is gorgeous. Nice look on the wrist. It needs um, to be cleaned up. It's got fingerprints all over it. I've managed to do that. Let's see how long it is. We're going to do it for $5. It's a vintage piece. It's gorgeous gold tone. Come on. It is a size 7. Gorgeous. Fold over clasp. $5. Okay. The next one is another pretty bracelet. Oh, this is be a great um, charm bracelet. Somebody was using it like that, too. There's a charm holder. It is a Monet 
It's got a safety clasp. Let's see if we can fix that. Hold over clasp. There we go. Now it's done right. There's your safety clasp. You have another Monet tag here. This is a beautiful piece. Fantastic charm bracelet. Let's see how long it is. Oops. First, I want to unhook this. Oh, it's even got the old old time hook. You can barely see the the thing. I don't know if I can get it open. Maybe it's not meant to be open. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. No, I don't think. I don't know. It's made to so that it doesn't come off of your uh, wrist. I'm looking at this. Maybe it's this way. I don't know. Let's see, let's go that way. Let's do this way. Is it because I'm left-handed that I'm spastic with this? I don't know. Or if it's not meant to be opened. It doesn't open. Yeah, I'm not sure about the clasp here. But the bracelet's beautiful. We'll open it. Let's see if I can measure it. Nope. I can't with that on it. I don't know what the, how that's made. I've not seen a clasp like that. I don't want to break it. See that? So, I don't know how to measure it, but maybe a cross. Let's do that way. Well, I can put it on. I'm a medium wrist. And it's a really good fit for me. Let me turn it that way so I can buckle it easier. There we go. <laughs> there. Pretty. So, yes, I'm a medium wrist, so, you know... You'd have to judge it by that. Let's see. We'll do this one for... Gosh, this is well made. I'm going to do it for 15 It's a beautiful charm bracelet. It's the double link, curved link. Monet. Okay. 
the next one that looks like hematite beads. Ooh, yes. With a vintage tag on it. It was $30. Mono so genuine stone. Hematite. I'm seeing if there's any mark. I don't see any. Nice clasp. It's an 18 inch. Beautiful. We'll do that one for 15. Oh, I'm liking this lot so far. What do you guys think? Leave a comment under the comment section. This is a beautiful pendant. I wonder if I have a chain for it. Very thick. I mean, very big bell. On that side, it's the heart, open hearts there. Very different. And this side is a, um, can't think of it. But there, there it is. Can be worn on either side. You have the green stones here on the ends and on the bottom. See if they do anything. They're glass, the green stone. The red moves up to glass. And this other side goes past glass. So it's glass, beautiful gold tone. Oh, look at this. It's Tova of Beverly Hills. That was Ernest Borgnine's wife. And I bet you put perfume in there. If she did sell a perfume line. Oh, I see. The little uh, magnets come out. That needs to be glued back in so it will shut correctly. Cool. We'll do that as is for $5. That's Tova of Beverly Hills. She's Ernest Borgnine's wife. I don't know if she's still alive. I don't think he is. She had some beautiful smelling perfume. At least I thought so. She was such an elegant lady, too. Pink. Round cut. CC's. Eighteen karat gold electroplated. See if it has any other marks. I don't see any other marks. The finish on it is excellent. There's nowhere on the gold tone. Love pink. Very pretty ring. It is a size seven and a quarter. And we'll do that beauty for uh, five dollars. Very pretty. Seven and a quarter. Five dollars. 
18 karat gold electroplated. And the last thing in this lot, again, pink. Probably why I got it. Oh, this is pretty. Here's your pendant. A purplish and pink, light pink. Pink, pink there, and made to look like marcasite pieces here. Very ornate. There's the back. Oh, that looks like um, 1928. Beautiful pink beads, uh, silver tone bicones. It has a, oh, it's got a tag. Well, look at that, 1928. I was right. That's the brand. I just, I love this brand. Still do. It's got a Victorian look to me. And I guess that's why I like it. Let's see how long this one is. Come here, my ruler, darling. All right. Fully extended. It can go up to... Come on, be still. 19 and a half inches. And the extender is three inches. We'll do this for eight. Nineteen twenty eight. Okay, that was the uh, eBay purchase. Now we're get, getting into a 15-pound grab bag costume jewelry. And this is the first bend of it, so there's quite a few bit, quite a bit of jewelry in this. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is end this video and start another one. And uh, thank you guys for watching it. And if you've you're new to the channel and you want to see more, just hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Share it with your friends who like jewelry too. We're trying to grow the channel. I want to get up to 2,000 and have a giveaway. So um, I'm working towards that. And I appreciate your comments. Even when you just stop by and say hello, that means a lot to me. That lets me know you're still well and doing well. And uh, don't be surprised if I hadn't heard from you in a while that you get an email from me. I'm just making sure you're okay. And uh, thank you guys for spending your valuable time with us or with me. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye now.